Good morning. Welcome to hell. Yeah, we're back again. Last week wasn't the best here, but the water's dropped two and a half foot, and the current has really stopped now. It's probably even a bit more, you know. Yeah, there's not really any movement in the water. Now, we know there was stuff in here, but they kept pulling it off the magnet, and we just got to have a go, haven't we? We just can't well, not have a go. We didn't really have a go last week. So. No, he, he weren't well, but... So we're back here. We're going to have a go, and let's see how we get on today. Oh. It's got a metal end on it. It does. Whatever it is. What it is but it's one of them. You got a light. Yeah. I've got a scaffold clamp. So have I. <laughs> <laughs> So we got a little bit stuck just here and these people at this calf just here have been really good so I'm going to take you in to have a look at it because they do some really nice stuff. The River Terrace lot, there we go. If you um, want a coffee or something what you need to do is head to this place. I'm going to take you in and see whether they don't mind me filming. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Right, so we're inside this lovely place. Tell everyone who you are. This is Manon. Hello there. <laughs> and Joel. This is our barista, James. He doesn't like cameras, I can and tell. Manager, Abby, is ran away because she's camera shy. Right, OK, but they do some lovely stuff in it and it always smells good. And they were good enough to let us go on their terrace. There we go, look. So if you're in St Ives, you need to nip in here and have something to eat and drink. Because you always get a lovely smile like that. Look, oh, she's still hiding down there. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much thank for the YouTube Terrace and have a lovely day. <laughs> we got, mate. Oh, I've got some keys. A little bit dark, but I we'll think we get keys. away with it. Where's the key ring? From Texas. Not the, not the DIY store? No. <laughs> and some... Uh, You've got a bit of a frying pan as well. A bit of a frying pan, and, yeah, from Angle Eye. Oh, I've got a Coke can in kit form. <laughs> Coca-Cola is a kit. That's <laughs> dripping. Terry. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, first throw, I got a post. There's loads of them around here. Oh. Got a 165813 made in <laughs> Romania. <laughs> Tap that off. <sighs> there we go, so I've got another lump. Tap that off and see what's under there. How you doing? Yeah. Amra's got a hobnail boot shoe. Boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got a block of wood with some screws in it. <laughs> He's right what he said, when I said what's normal, moaning, tired. <laughs> what you got? Shandy, lemonade and beer. <laughs> oh, wow. Shandy, lemonade and beer can. <sighs> I think my teapot's had it. We've got the spout. I've got a bit of an ob now, boots you. You got a bit of a motor. Are there the bits between the post 
They are, yeah, I'll just think of that. Realise that. There we go, got a pole. Can of sweet corn. Angle bracket. And it's a cannonball sucking lure. And this was bigger. <laughs> so it's Terry and Paul then. <laughs> What is it? Lure Central here? Must be. They're everywhere. So we've got a meat hook. Random lump of cast metal. Handle off a fishing reel. You know. I've got another one. It's another one lure. <laughs> Don't know, I think he's got some sort of scale disease, this one. So I've got a lump of wood with like a winder on it. Because it's got a grip there so you can turn it. And there's a cog on the back end of it. Not sure what it is though. Headlamp adjuster motor. What headlight? Come on, Aaron. I don't know, I can't see enough. No, it's all a bit. No, confused.com. Can't identify. If you know, leave it in the comments. <laughs> Bars and a bit of cast iron drain pipe. Yeah, you can see that nine maiden lager. Go on, mate. Got a bungee strap. Well, I'm definitely getting through the. Yeah. What you got there, mate? I've got a pair of tweezers. He's got some tweezers. He's going to pl pluck his hair follicles. <laughs> Sorry? No, I'm good. <laughs> Go and sell yourself, yeah? So a bit of plate and a framework of something. <laughs> so that's what they call Aaron's nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody out there? <laughs> I've got myself an aerial. I'm looking for a signal. Don't think I'm going to get one from this lot, but anyway, I've got myself an aerial. <laughs> it's aluminium as well. <laughs> yeah. I've now got a K&N filter. Apparently, these railings were put here because the car comes straight down that road and straight into the water. Now, he's found a bit of the Evlite. I think I found the chappy filter. And I've got his aerial down there. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Now that's kind of awesome. Hang on, I'm coming, I'm coming. This is a green lid on a screw with a M8 on it. I've got some side cutters. Well, look at that for a fence topper. <laughs> it's not an Iron Man spear. Maybe, you know, like one of these magical poles they have, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because that could give me magic powers, but no, that is really heavy. But I bet that is pretty decorative under there. I bet Terry and Paul will find out. <laughs> Cleaning department. <laughs> Paul, will you clean my pole? A pot with a lure. Crystal tape. Road sign. And a wonky headed nail. I've got a scaffold bar. Oh yeah. <laughs> you said I'd go under that tree. Yeah, I know. And I changed to the bigger magnet. Oh, that's a... I don't think we'll have to ring that one in. I think it's a Denix. So if it's a G Denix. G50. G50, it looks like, yeah. So if it is, then that's replica if it's Denix, isn't it? You oh, yeah, look. I've got a murder weapon. <laughs> it's actually rotted through. Oh, yeah. So. But. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah, it's got a seam through. It's it. got a seam. It's yeah. a replica. Oh, well. And look how easy that's coming off. Oh, well. I'm sure that's a Denix. Look. Well. I thought that would have been aluminium, I'd have thought. I, mean, I think what it is. It up on? I think it's what's inside it. Yeah, because the bottom of it's. Oh, it's just like probably got a steel tube. Yeah. Or something. Steel rod in it. Don't think it's Denix. I've got my wire brush over there. Phoenix? Could be Phoenix, yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Phoenix. Oh, that's a good guess. <laughs> Phoenix G50. But yeah, it's rotted away, look. It's alley. Full. Guess who's done it again? <laughs> it's a Phoenix G50. Yeah. Make sure that's okay because I can't really see. So I've just pulled up that, which I shall put down in a minute because it doesn't look good, even though it's not a real one. You don't <laughs> want to be standing here flashing around while people are going by. Just wait for the cars to go around the corner, but yeah. While we're waiting for the cars, we'll show you our converter weapon and Brett's here. Is that like pre um, manslaughter rather than murder because you've only got one of them? But anyway, there we go. It's that. It's alley. Most of it's alley anyway. The end bit screws around like a Phoenix G50. Paul's on Google. Yeah, we go. It, a year in a minute. It's not a real one. It is. It's Ali. It's falling a bit. Look, you see the Phoenix G50 on there. But I'm not going to tap it because it'll break. <laughs> so just to confirm, it's an air pistol. It's a Phoenix G50 air pistol and rotten. But fine's a fine, isn't it? Gun's a gun and all that. What you got, mate? I've got like, a little ring, but the gems fell off. Not the sort of cheap thing you get out of a Christmas cracker. You got your ring out? Yeah, probably to go with my Christmas ball ball
is the shackle stuck on the magnet. Oh, I've got flipping all sorts on here. Right, so I hooked in my D-shackle, which I'm going to show in a minute. It was an old bit of cooking pot, or plant pot. It's an old bit of pot, paint can lid, PP3 battery, up now boot shoe, D-shackle, and that. Now, that is an old 5 amp main socket. I think it's one with an emergency stop button on it. So... I think that might be worthy of a bit of a clean because that could be quite cool actually under there. You see it's got brass there so I think that's like an emergency stop button for the socket. I'll give it to cleaning pump, see what he thinks. Terry was well proud of that. She's got herself a tray and not bent it. Got a really old tango can um, made in Middlesex by Corona. Bit of a rod rest, corner bracket off something, and sun it around. I would say I'm going to put it on the wall and let it dry off, but it will never dry off, so I'm just going to put it down there. So in my mystery bag was a mystery pump for some reason. Oh, and a bite lock. It's all in the edge here, mate. I think so, yeah. I've got a serving platter got to be old that. I'm going to stick with a brassy sort of end on it. Probably the end of a walking stick. But it's looks a little bit decorative. I don't know whether it's just... Well, I'm going to put the headlock with a speed clip on it. <laughs> but, yeah. We'll let it dry out for a bit. Where? Down there. It would dry off in the rain. No, he's looking all pleased with himself, look. Bless him. I don't know if you thought you should be actually throwing a magnet for this, but you could see it looked like a bag in the water. So I threw yeah. the magnet towards it, and all of a sudden it's been stuck in the rope, it's been stuck in the brickwork, and it's going bang and just dropped straight in it. <laughs> Juicy couture. Yeah. That's all right, isn't it? Empty, nothing in it. And don't forget though, it's Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Has AJ got a present? <laughs> oh look, he's got it's a, a very flowery bag there. Look, he's looking well pleased with himself. Oh, look. look at that. I can't see it down. Come on. Let's show. Sure. You got the key. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's very not. All you gotta do is shove that in the washing machine. Oh it's a juicy one. Yeah. yeah. Juicy couture. She's definitely juicy, she leaks <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, we're a scrap bag, aren't we? <laughs> oh, they broke the zip. Yeah, shame that. <laughs> got a knife. Stabby, stabby. And under that is another set of keys. And wait, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just choking. Oh. I've got you a present. Happy Mother's Day. Mm. 
Z31 with the part number to Google. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> I've got side cutters and you've got pliers. I've got a spoon and two of them. They've got holes in them. And they're not sharp like a knife blade. But they sort of look like knives, but they're not. So. They're them. They're them. Pair of them. Put an old pen on and give that a bit of a tap. It was an old pen knife, but I've destroyed it. No bait. And you've got a Wukong 400. Yep. That's a bit of a tangle they got in there. No, we really threw it in. I've got a bit of scaffold pipe. I've got a cupboard door hinge, in you know, a kitchen one, or a wardrobe, and I've got a handle. So maybe there was a door in there at one point, but it's rotted away. So if there's anyone in St. Ives that wants to go up magnet fishing, I've left that magnet and rope on the wall. <laughs> By the time the video comes out, somebody would have had it. Mm -hmm. Got a lid off something. Remains of a can of Tizer. Remains of a can of pure brilliant white. I've got a lawn rake. You're raking in the fines now. Yeah. I've got a screwdriver. I've got a door latch. I've got the handily bit of a pair of glasses. It's called the arm. <laughs> the arm, that's the bit. I've got a fishing reel handle. So you're raking the fines and you're reeling the fines in? Yeah. And I've got a GTV badge. Okay. Oh, no, looks no, like a good old hinge and a bit of road sign. Bit of tube and an old pan handle. I think I had one of those in a video a couple of weeks ago as well, but pan handle. We'll have Terry on show. Oh no, we've got Paul. Hang on, let's move a bit closer. Oh, he's at a very funny angle now. First time anyone's ever said that to you. Right, go on then, Paul. Old phone. Well, he's Nokia. Yeah. It is, yeah. Old one. This is like doing the camera for Terry. Bit of rebar. <laughs> and a bottle opener. Amazing. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> and wet, very, very wet. Oh, that's dark. You've got a horseshoe. One of them old eel ones. <laughs> and I've got a... A jug handle. Or I a cup. Might be a mug, actually. Might be a mug. Deep enough for a jug, yeah. <laughs> it might be a mug. <laughs> mm. <laughs> might be. <laughs> Look at that range. That's huge. Huge hinge. Huge hinge, yeah. Then I've got the key for the door. You're doing alright then. And, and that's not full throw. Right. So it must be a dude battery change, 208. Nutro, dog food. <laughs> Naturo? He keeps running his rubbish over here and filling my bin up. The chimney topper, an old bolt, a bit of cast iron pipe, a bit of pottery stuck to it. Bit 
of an old barrel. I don't know what the dog was eating his dinner with. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. Oh yeah. Aaron's got some magnetic glass, some security glass with a wire in it. No. Health and safety, burglars cut themselves on it. Oh, wheel up. That's a big old thing. A bit of pottery stuck to a lump of metal. Kodak battery. And a screwdriver tip. North Hans Blue. Yeah. Pen off. He's got a pen knife as well. And a big bolt. Some sort of old um, jug or something. It's weird because it's got a bit coming out there and it's got a bit coming out there. Hmm, one of them. And another battery. Oh, can. Bent bar. Another battery. Just loads of random rubbish. Corn beef can now. I've got a wheel. And I've got a, a clampy thing. Yeah. And then I've got a padlock. <laughs> Old Ever Ready Blue Seal battery. The lid off my corned beef. Lid of some description, isn't it? Yeah, it's a car safe. Look at that thing, looks like a lid. The back. Hey, yeah, look, it sort of clicks in, but it's cast, whatever it is. What is it? Oh. Um. Go your way, see me stand it up. Just bit get the metal plate. I've got to go out a bit so I don't go on the side. Well, it is a bit of a side, isn't it? It's huge. Here he comes. Lays it out far from the scrap. Yeah. 
If it makes it worthwhile for the scrap man, I'd rather get it out because it's got something heavy in it. You yeah. Know what I mean? You're going to want another magnet on that? Unless we can lift it. Unless we get one the other side of it. Who's going to come off easy, yours or mine? I reckon I'm going to go into you, that's the problem. Give it a try, boss. We can get one the other side of it. Yeah, I don't want to go any lower because I don't want it going on that side. No, you're about three inches away from the concrete. We're trying that. Let's go and get my extra. It's like a very or a one. grapple. There's a hole in it. Yeah, grapple. How many sections is it though? <laughs> See it? Cue the music. Oh, well, what a shot. <laughs> he got it straight in. Ooh. Oh, that's one. That's it, after that. There's two full sections. I knew it was big when we were both on the same thing in about four foot apart. Can you walk underneath it actually? I'm just thinking probably that'd be easy, wouldn't it? Just give it a little lift up. He gets it in the hole a lot easier, doesn't he? Oh no, there's more. <laughs> Loads of it. <sighs> yeah. He's not back Be in. Careful. No, oh, there's this down there. Watch my new rope. <laughs> well, biggest find of the day. Oh. Hold that one up to the camera. <laughs> so as you can see, <laughs> Aaron went and found that. That's quite a chunk, that is. That's um, a proper old lump of canal siding. You know what might happen now, though? Floor might collapse. Yeah. But yeah, so... There we go. As you can see, just to case, just trying to get me moving it off. That's a big lump of metal there. Yeah. Yeah, I guess slipping soon to get to the camp. <laughs> 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 I told you I had something big on <laughs> The ball time, it's a river. <laughs> what do you do? Hook one edge up on the wall? Yeah. Well, a bit more. It's the only big everything. <laughs> What's under it? Another bit of that. <laughs> oh,